So we already spoke about a process called effusion, which is the movement of gas molecules from a high pressure to a low pressure via a very small hole. And we said that we can find the rates at which gas molecules effuse via something called Graham's Law, which is given right down here. And Graham's Law states that rate of gas molecule 1 over rate of gas molecule 2 is equal to the square root of mass of 2 divided by the square root of mass of, of 1. And what this says is that the lighter the molecule, the faster its rate, or the higher its rate. Now we're going to talk about something called diffusion. Diffusion is the movement or the flux of one type of gas molecule into another gas, or an empty space. And now we can use Graham's law to approximate the rates of diffusion. Now the reason that we approximate is because of something called mean free path. Now the average or the mean free path of a gas molecule is the distance it travels between any two collisions. So let's look at this system here. In this system we have a square and we have a bunch of red molecules. We have one green molecule. Suppose this green molecule wants to go from this corner to this corner. Now the best way would be to uh, go directly across from this point to this point. But notice that we have a bunch of red molecules in the way. So this guy will have to push its way to the other side. And by pushing I mean colliding. So it's going to travel some distance A, then a distance B, then C, D, E, F, and finally G. So each time it collides and it balances off. Now to find the mean free path or the average distance between any two collisions, I simply add up all the distances up and divide by the number of collisions. And that's my mean free path. Now because of this, we can use Graham's law to approximate diffusion. And we'll see why in a second. So let's look at an illustration of diffusion. Suppose I have a cylindrical tube and I have two cloths. Suppose I take this cloth, I soak it into ammonia, NH3, and plug it up. Suppose I take this cloth, I soak it up in hydrochloric acid, and then plug it up as well. So it's plugged up on both sides, and I have air molecules in the middle. So orange guys are air molecules, green guys are ammonia molecules, and red guys are hydrochloric molecules. So what will happen? Well, some of these guys will evaporate, and some of these guys will evaporate, and they will begin moving. But they won't move directly from this point to this point. They will move via a crooked path because of something called the mean free path. Because there are air molecules present, and these air molecules will create collisions. And this green molecule, for example, will first collide with this guy, then move here, collide with the wall, then collide with this guy, and so on, until it gets to some point here. Now, when the green guy reaches the red guy, something will happen. Well, the reaction is as follows. The green guy reacts with the red guy, or ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid in a gas state to form a precipitate. It, it forms a solid. So when these guys meet, at whatever point they will meet, they will form a wall or a solid wall, the precipitate. And my question is, at which point will the wall lie? Will it be in the middle? Will it be on this side? Or closer to hydrochloric acid? So we can use Graham's law to approximate the position of this wall of solid. And the way we do it is as following. So rate 1 over rate 2 equals square root of mass of 2 divided by the square root of mass of 1 equal. So, what's the molecular weight or mass of my ammonia? Well, it's uh, 14 plus 3 gives us 17 on the bottom. What about this guy? Well, 1 plus 35.5 gives us 36.5. So, 36.5 on top. We plug this into our calculator and we get 1.5. So, rate of molecule 1 is 1.5 times larger or faster than rate of 2 because 2 is heavier, so it's not going to travel with the same velocity. Velocity will be smaller. Remember, we're assuming constant temperature, so kinetic energies or average kinetic energies are equal. So, if they're equal and masses are different, then velocities are also different. 
So this guy will travel 1.5 times this way than this guy. 